Graffiti, is it an art or a nuisance? This question has been raised over many centuries, starting right back when the vandals swept through Rome to nowadays where people write their tags on fences, walls, subway trains, and anywhere that a graffiti artist may think of as a blank canvas. Street art or graffiti can create or break a community. Most graffiti artists are drawn to this certain type of art because of the thrill of going outside the law. Artists' rights over their work has been and still continues to be a messy subject. Street art or graffiti communicates to the public the artist's beliefs and opinions and can make statements about people's identities, political views and empowerment. Tagging can also be used as branding for the artist or tagger. In 1974, Norman Mauler wrote The Face of Graffiti, which talks about the importance of graffiti in modern urban culture. Mauler's belief wasn't widespread, as many people still look at graffiti as nothing more than vandalism. Street art or graffiti originated in Western culture, in Greece, then Italy, Turkey and Egypt, which in Egypt was known as hieroglyphics. Thousands of years ago, many, thousands of years ago Romans regularly wrote messages on walls, and in the 5th century, when the vandals swept through Rome, graffiti became associated with rebellion and took on its vandalism label. The term street art has grown more popular and has been applied to more work because it's far more artistic and detailed than the average graffiti scribble. Artists such as Banksy and Mr. Brainwash are big parts of the street art industry. These two artists stay hidden because of the thrill. Like Banksy's Girl in Balloon, which had voted UK's favourite artwork in 2017. When someone bought the artwork for $1.8 million and took it out of the frame, it shredded into lots of pieces. Banksy posted the video of the artwork shredding, capturing the post, going, going, gone. The artwork is now in an art gallery in Germany and it is half shredded. For street artists, their work being called vandalism or, graf vandalism or graffiti can be hurtful. But what starts of a tag can turn into beautiful works of art. Practice really does make perfect. Lots of talented street artists or graffiti artists start by putting their tags on buildings. While putting tags on buildings may help an artist grow, it can also be seen as vandalism. Residents of the houses and buildings spend lots of money getting the tags off of their homes. In Sydney University, there is a graffiti town. According to the ABC, it was put up by the LGBTIQ students as part of an art festival funded by the institution's union. This is a place where artists can express themselves. This place is open to the public and can be used as inspiration for the street artists or graffiti artists. Anyone is welcome to paint in this tunnel as long as the art is not offensive. When my family and I went to the tunnel, I remember seeing all of the layers of spray paint, tags and murals. I think that seeing the tunnel was an amazing sight and it gave me a great interest in graffiti and street art. In Melbourne, there are alleyways dedicated to street art and in Newtown there is an online map that is devoted to street art. It is called the Newtown Graffiti Map and it showcases all of Newtown's great artworks. Even here in our very own suburb of Bound Main, we have a magnificent piece of street art to enjoy down near the overseas passenger terminal. The increase in popularity amongst local communities and tourists has led to the official creation of tours for interested art lovers. These tours not only promote the artists but also create revenue for the local art and culture sectors. What was once considered a subculture, street art or graffiti has evolved so much that it has now started to enter the mainstream art and culture programs in some cities. Graffiti artists may not have followed the traditional educational pathways but after lots of years practicing spray painting on brick walls across towns and cities has helped develop their skills to become street artists. It has been and still continues to be a struggle to divide graffiti from street art. I believe that all beautiful graffiti is an art and that there should be more places where graffiti artists and street artists can grow and produce more beautiful artwork to give our streets more character and to create a community. Thank you.